Carlos Alcaraz versus Felix Ogilvy-Assim is the fourth quarterfinal for the men's Indian Wells for 2023. And both guys have had different rows to get to the quarterfinal stage. FAA started the tournament as the number eight seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Martinez. And after a close first set, we'll get through in straights, 7-6, 6-4. In the third round, he take on Serendolo, the 27th seed. And again, after a close set, we would come back in straights, 7-5, 6-4. In the fourth round, he take on the number 17 seed, Tommy Paul, who'd been in very good form in 2023. And this match was a classic. The final set going to a tie break, and Ojeali Asim coming back to win 3 6 6 3 7 6 to advance to the quarterfinals. Alcaraz started the tournament off as a number one seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the qualified Kokonakis. This was no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straights 6 3 6 3. In the third round, he'd take on the 31st seed Grigspor, who'd been very, very good this season. And after a close first set, Alcaraz dispatched him 7 6 6 3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Draper, the exciting young Brit, who had just beaten Andy Murray in the previous round. But unfortunately, Draper got injured after a set and Alcaraz got the easy win 6-2 two love retirement to get to the quarterfinals these guys have played three times before with Ojeli Asim holding a 3-0 record including two matches last year on indoor hard courts Alcaraz has only won the one set against FAA in those three meetings if Felix is going to win this one he needs to serve well and he needs to bring in the variety that's what Alcaraz does to everybody else but Felix needs to do that as well he also needs to hit that backhand really really strong as well and get Alcaraz moving around move him as much as possible to come to the net maybe finishes off some volleys if Alcaraz is going to win this one he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. He should be able to limit the errors unlike Felix who sometimes is error prone so if he can also bring the variety come to the net, do all the things that he does, he should be able to beat Felix in this one. It's going to be a very fun match because Ojeli Asim hasn't had the greatest start to 2023 and of course Elkris is on the comeback and this is their best result so far this year but I'm going to go with Elkris to win this one in three sets. I think it's going to be a classic but I think Elkris is going to get the win in the end pretty close though. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one?